Good day chess fans, this is Roland of uh, Wesley's Saw channel. Actually, if you are, you are in the Philippines, yeah, it's already a good evening. So, <clears throat> the game of Wesley Saw, his first game, this is actually the first round in the rapid portion of the Your Next Move Grand Chess Tour, which is would run from July uh, June 12 to 15. So this is the uh, first day action, which is the rapid. I don't know how many days this rapid would be. Uh, I don't know if they would be finishing this uh, in a single day. Actually, this is the uh, list of players here. We have 10 players. First is Fabiano Caruana, Shak, uh, Shakriar Mamidjarov, and we have MVL, or Maxim Bashir Lagrave. And Sir J. Karyakin, Anish Giri, and Wesley So. So, in terms of uh, rapid rating, uh, Wesley So is the low, uh, seems to be the sixth rated player here. And <clears throat> he have he has overtaken Hikaru Nakamura in terms of rating in, when it comes to rapid chess. And his game have already started. He's playing against uh, Fabiano, and he is black, so uh, I'm gonna change the position of the board here so we are here at chess24.com and uh, chess24 means 24 hour chess it's a website that features uh, live games real-time games of the top tournaments in the world so i have flipped the board here and West, we can see the uh pieces of wesley, wesley here as black and so here you just could click this one and you could uh, click flip board and the board would uh, change position and you can other choices here are auto play settings open game in analysis play disposition or computer analysis so at any point in time you can ask for the computer analysis but we are not going to do that the game of uh, Fabian and Wesley have already started so I just want to take you through the first part of the game so uh, let's flip the board here again and Fabiano opened with e4 and Wesley response uh, response was e5 so the knight f3 knight c6 and bishop b5 by Fabiano so they have headed into the Roy Lopez and a6 bishop a4 and knight f6 so this is pretty usual here, uh, castling by Fabiano, and then bishop e7. So Wesley here is somewhat inviting uh, Fabiano to get into the Karokan, but uh, Fabiano did not, i uh, sorry, to get into the martial attack, but Fabiano did not took the invitation, so he moved with d3, and then b5 by Wesley. So this is standard move order here, so bishop b3 and then d6 and here we have a4 by Fabiano I think uh, this is somewhat not a usual move order here and how does Wesley responded responded to this so we have bishop d7 so Wesley is inviting a, uh, an exchange of rook here so what would uh, Caruana do he did not immediately took on b5 so c3 for him and then castling by wesley okay we have not yet reached the last move uh that they have made because it's still blue here this this part and then next is bishop c2 and rook e8 by wesley rook e1 by Carwana, and h6 knight bd2 and now b4 by Wesley so there would be no immediate exchange of rooks here uh, because of the b4 by Wesley and d4 so how to counter an attack I mean, uh, an attack on the other on the other side of the board is just you have to counter in the center that's pretty standard for Caruana and then rook v8 by Wesley so okay there's nothing yet, uh, anything critical here. So if Fabiano would go 
d5 driving the knight away uh, Wesley would go probably knight a5 and if Caruana takes on b4 with c takes b4 then the rook would be available to make the recapture on b4 so maybe that's the plan of Wesley there okay so that's what happened d5 by Caruana hmm interesting um, he, uh, Wesley did not uh, move the knight away since he would be the one to first capture on uh, d2 okay if Caruana captures in c6 then uh, Wesley would have uh, c takes d2 which uh, threatens uh, c takes e1 with a check so he would be a pawn up because uh, Caruana would be forced to take first the pawn and then Wesley would recapture in c6 there, uh, and would be a pawn up so what would be Caruana do here of course to prevent Wesley from being a pawn up he took on c3 first with his pawn so what would be the next move of Wesley let's see knight a5 so it is really his intention to go to uh, to bring the knight on a5 anyway there is no better place uh, for the knight the only other place for the knight is a7 but that's not a, an optimal optimal placement of position that would make the knight passive okay what would Garwana do here bishop a3 okay putting pressure on d6 and uh, maybe the plan would be to go uh, Caruana would go uh, pawn to c4 and then eventually pawn to c5 so he's putting pressure on uh, this d6 pawn uh, eventually he will do that so what would be the reply of Wesley here oh okay so Wesley immediately uh, before that would happen Wesley is putting pressure himself on the center of Fabiano okay okay so uh, Fabiano continues with c4 so Wesley has a choice here of either capturing on d5 or locking the position with c5 so what would Wesley do here oh Wesley maintains the pressure so he intends to take control of the queen side with uh, maybe rook e to c8 and Caruana proceeds with bishop d3 so the idea is if Wesley takes on d5, then he can take on d5 with his c4 pawn, putting pressure on the pawn on a6, which would uh, make Wesley uh, spend some time to defend that pawn. And it would drive away some of his important piece uh, away from his intention or any attack that he plans. So what would Wesley do here? Okay. Wesley decides to consolidate his knight into the center. Okay, and then knight to b3 by Fabiano and then a5. So Wesley intends to lock the position here and he's inviting Caruana to release the tension on the center but he was able to lock the position of or to fix the a4 phone here the white a4 pawn to be just at the a4 square okay what would wesley uh, uh fabiano do here fabiano does not want to be the one to take on c6 or the one to release the tension at b5 so he moves with uh, bishop to c1 here so he plans to maybe bring his bishop to e3 or and then queen d2 or I, I really don't know what these people are thinking but maybe that's the plan and then bishop g4 by wesley okay what would be the plan here for wesley so he's putting pressure on the knight okay so really that's the intention of garwan after all to bring the bishop to e3 and then knight f to d7 so wesley intends to to fight for the c5 square here okay 
and then H3 by Fabiano and oh Wesley took on F3 so Bishop takes F3 and then Queen takes F3 okay Knight C5 Wesley is inviting the exchange of Knight here Knight takes C5 Knight takes C5 Bishop takes C5 and of course D takes C5 here so uh, Caruana now has a passed pawn here as a passer here although it's still uh, within uh, Wesley can control that pass pawn by blockading it uh, with bishop d6 so let's see what would happen what would uh, Fabiano do here okay bishop f1 I can see what's the intention of that move so let's proceed and rook Okay, Wesley intends to control the queen side here with uh, by threatening to double the rook. So would uh, Fabiano immediately counter that? Let's see. He did not immediately counter that, but he threatens to push the pawn uh, in the future. So what would uh, Wesley do here? Okay, Wesley continues with his intention to double the rook on the b uh, on the uh, b file. So he's, he, he now has full control of the B file here. And then G3. Caruana removes... Uh, what's the purpose of this move? G3. Is it an escape route or somewhat? Or is it just uh, a waiting move? Maybe it's a waiting move. Oh, now Wesley has re released the tension and would uh, probably intend to block the... If Fabiano makes a pawn recapture, then Wesley would block that pawn with bishop d6. But I see that uh, Fabiano intends to control the d square here by capturing with the rook. Oh no, he did not capture with the rook. He captured with the e4 pawn. So Wesley just blockaded that pawn here. Okay. H. Four. So Fabiano intends to somewhat uh, constrict the position of Wesley here, but uh, the computer is saying that uh, black is slightly better here. It's seventy percent better here than uh, the position of Fabiano. So let's see what would happen. Okay. Wesley respond, responded with queen d7 we, uh, after h4 by Fabiano and then bishop d3 by Fabiano here. So no move yet for Wesley. For the meantime, let's look up, uh, look at the comments here. Are there, is there anyone rooting for Wesley here? Okay. So we go, could just play the... I can't play the the video here. I don't have my mouse and my I'm just uh, using my scroll uh, the control from my laptop here and I don't know why the play the play button is not appearing when I hover over over this video. Okay. So let's just wait for. Wesley's response here. What do you think would be the response of Wesley here? Rook b3 could be a possibility. Uh, that would be black uh, pinning the, uh, the bishop. But I think the intention of uh, Fabiano here is to go queen f5. Uh, forcing uh, the exchange of queen maybe. And if Wesley prevents that with g6. Okay, he just... Uh, he just did d6, uh, g6, I mean. Uh, but Fabiano could respond with h, h5, okay? Oh, well, maybe h5 is good, but uh, Wesley could respond to with king g7. And if takes takes with a pawn, then uh, we, uh, Wesley would have rook f8. I think Wesley is uh, ahead here, but I'm not sure how he would be able to convert this position. 
it should uh, just prevent Carwana from dominating the queen, uh, the king side here. <clears throat> so, any guess there? Uh, what would uh, be the move of Carwana? If you look at the time, uh, Wesley is ahead by almost uh, two minutes, and uh, Carwana only has thirteen minutes and thirty seconds and counting. So, in a few seconds, Wesley would be ahead by. 120 seconds here okay so i really wish uh, wesley would be able to take his revenge against uh, fabiano here since uh, fabiano uh won over him in the last round of the of the re recent tournament uh the altibox norway tournament and because of that win carwana was the champion of the tournament actually it could have gone either way if wesley had won the last round against fabiano carwana at the Nor uh, Altibox Norway Chess Tournament, which is a classical chess tournament, Wesley would have been the champion because uh, the other contenders uh, like Hikari Nakamura and I think Aronian, uh, I guess, and uh, Magnus Carlsen all drew their games. So uh, Wesley could have been the champion, but because he lost to Fabiano, Fabiano is automatically the champion. And he, I think he is at the fifth to sixth place so really uh he is leading part of the leader but because he have gone all all the way and not played it safe safe then the others that have played it safe got better uh monetary monetary reward uh compared to him so that's really the irony of chess here so but if you don't uh take any form of risks sometimes it's very difficult to win if you don't any take some form of risk so let's see what would happen here would this be his revenge against fabiano let's see although this is not yet a championship game uh it's ironic that they're the ones that have been pitted against each other in right in the first game of this um grand chess tour blitz blitz part of the grand chess tour uh this is your next move uh I think this is at Paris. Is it your next move at Paris? Okay. Because I remember last year, uh, I think uh, your next move was held at Paris. Uh, I just don't know if uh, they still uh, use Paris as their um, venue for this your next move, uh, which is the first uh, part of Grand Chess Tour. This is already a yearly tournament. Actually, Wesley here is threatening uh, his rook from b4 to take on uh, the pawn at e4. So, would Carwana just let it be or go for h5? Actually, however, if uh, Carwana would uh, go he move with his pawn to h5, Wesley would be forced uh, maybe to go to king g7 first before taking on the pawn at a4 because his uh, position would be wide open oh here Carwana just as a g4 but the computer says it's not a really a good move it's already more than one point better for black it's actually 1.06 better for black okay uh, i hope wesley would be able to take advantage of this uh, weakening move by Fabiano so let's see okay this is an exciting game by Wesley here actually I just came from outside uh, got uh, bought something from the grocery at uh, near our place and it's lucky that I was able to still catch this game when it came it's already just one minute before uh it would already start the moves would start coming in but i was not able to immediately uh get hold of this uh recording or broadcast so it took me about five minutes before i was able to record this game so wesley can use uh more time here so that he could um make sure that he he got he gets a good reply here okay 
do you think Wesley should uh, take the pawn on a4? Okay, uh, let me let me know in the comment section. Although this is not a live stream, uh, I have not yet set up my live stream uh, software. Uh, I plan to install a live stream software, uh, but when I came home, as I have said, it's already one minute and the ga the games would start. So I hope I can set up my live stream for the next games. But nevertheless, uh, just enjoy watching this uh, recorded video. Uh, this is that when you would be able to, when you're watching this, maybe it's just about 30 minutes to 1 or late but nevertheless uh, still fresh if you have not uh, been watching live streams or live coverages this is still fresh the result of this game would be still fresh oh ah uh, come on Wesley show him his uh, your best stop okay uh I think Arwana could j just have uh, moved to h5. Oh, Wesley had made a move here. Queen e7. He threatens to. He threatens to take on h4. The pawn at h4. What would be the possible reply of <clears throat> Carwana here? He he could go h5. Because if Wesley would take on h5 and then, uh. Oh, yeah, Fabian indeed goes to h5 because Wesley cannot take on h5 because there would be queen to queen to f5 and threatening mate in 2. Okay, he would be threatening mate in 2 there because the queen has already blocked the escape route of the king at e7. So, what do you think? What would be Wesley's reply here? If I am Wesley, I would be going to queen g5. And he, indeed, he goes to queen d5. Ah, sorry. He goes to queen g5. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I just made uh, mentioned the wrong name of the square. Well, I was thinking that Wesley would go to... Would move with queen g5. And he did. Okay. This gets exciting now. So, if Fabiano would uh, take on g6 with his pawn... And then pawn takes g6 and the f5 square is protected and Wesley would be threatening rook f8. Putting more pressure on Caruana because if rook f8, the queen could not just go. Yeah, it could not just go queen g3 because of <coughs> rook, because of rook f4. And it and then if f3 and then you have you have e4 okay yeah you have e4 and there's a screen an x-ray attack on the queen on g3 because of the bishop on d6 although the bishop is not really protected uh, there are some uh, tactical nuances of the position okay so this is a very good game here. Mm -hmm. Carwana is uh, starting to get low on time here. Almost 4 minutes down compared to Wesley's time. Okay. So Wesley is really uh, very strong in rapid and blitz. I think he has improved his rating here. I'm I'm not really sure if the rating uh, shown here is the updated rating of Wesley in, in terms of rapid, but we could check with uh, two seven hundred chess dot com. What would what is the updated uh, rate rating in the rapid? So let's check here. Okay, so the rapid. Uh, let's check the rapid. So number one is Magnus Carlsen. Uh, Walker one is really the second when it comes to rapid here. And Wesley is one, two. Ah, oh, no, this is the updated rating for rapid here. Wesley is way below. And Anand is the second. And 
Carwana is lower than Wesley. It's just 2753, 2763 for Wesley. And let's check here. Wesley is... Oh, this is not an updated rating, okay? And Carwana also, 2816. But if you see here, it's already down to 753. So what's in here is not the updated rating. I think... Uh, the Grand Chess Tour does not use the rating, the up, the live rating, but they uses a or they use a universal rating system here. They they have something they call URS, which is a universal rating. Maybe the one they are using here. It's a combination of your uh, performance in rapid blitz and classical games. So that's one. That's the one they use. Uh, that's because that's the reason uh, the rating that you see here Carwana is the highest because in terms of universal rating system which are which is the one they use for Grand Chess Tour tournaments uh, since Carwana is second in the live rate chess ratings for the classical maybe the classical has a greater weight uh, when it comes to their universal rating system so that's the reason okay uh oh uh what happened there uh let's go back so there was already an exchange so after queen g5 there was an exchange on g6 as we have predict predicted okay because that's really the logical thing to do for white to exchange on g6 and Rook uh, Queen G2 and then Rook F8. So White did not wait for the Rook F8 to come. Carwan Carwan immediately uh, move away from the F file, and instead of going to G3, which would cause an extra attack uh, from the Bishop on D6, he goes to G2 to prevent that from happening. So Wesley immediately move with rook f8 so <clears throat> Wesley is very much ahead in time it's more than five minutes for him uh, compared to Carwana's time so actually is already six minutes ahead okay so Carwana's time is dwindling and he is uh, Wesley is on the advantage it's almost one point slightly better than white and Garwana just moved with rook e1 so he is preventing what he is preventing with rook e1 he's, pre he's controlling the e4 square here uh, supporting the e4 square and how does Wesley should proceed here Okay, maybe maybe Wesley could go rook d2 in order to pin the pawn. I think that would be my logical uh, move here. Rook b2 in order to pin the pawn on f2. So that if Wesley goes to uh, rook f4 and then f3 would not be possible. Okay. And if rook b1, rook a b1, if... For example, rook b2 by Wesley here, and Fabiano would go rook a b1, and then, then Wesley could go rook d2, attacking the bishop. But the bishop could just go to e2, supporting the pawn at, okay, supporting the pawn at uh, g4. Okay, so that would be the possibilities there. And Wesley is, take, is taking his time. He has more than five minutes or more than four minutes now and he's making sure that he would be able to convert this properly to take his revenge against Carwana so let's see the comments what uh, are they saying are they saying anything about this game g4 poor Carwana <laughs> okay I think they don't have anything 
to comment about this game. Maybe uh, the players are watching other games. Oh, we have here Wesley played Queen is E7, Lap of Cloud. <laughs> That's a while ago. Let's see the latest comments here. Bad time for Geary. So what's happening in Geary's move? So we can see the other games here. Oh, Geary is actually losing. You can see here. This is the live evaluation for the game here. So we have Nakamura against Anish Giri here. And Nakamura is already winning. So if you click this, the, the board would change to the game between Giri and uh, Hikaru. So let's flip the board. So Hikaru is winning. Oh. <laughs> Hikaru is a piece up although... Giri has two rooks. Okay. Giri made a very quick move there. So now let's go back to the game of West. You, you could also change the game from here. Okay, let's go back to let's flip the board again to Wesley's game. Okay. So what happened here? Uh I have predicted that uh Wesley could go rook b2 but instead he moved his rook to b3 so we have rook b3 here okay so he's already putting too much pressure I think I hope so against Fabiano here because Fabiano is very much low on time So they have comments as Bishi feeling uncomfortable in moving in chair because actually this video here could be played if you want to play this video you just could click it it's just not working here in my laptop because I my keyboard is not connected right now and I sorry not my keyboard my mouse is not connected to my laptop and it's the one that I can use to click and play this because uh, just24.com has changed uh, its uh, video format and it's not working with the what you call this trackball in or what I don't know with my laptop oh okay it appears here okay, so please, uh, this uh, is the that your mobile phones this is, is the intro off. a while ago the introduction device. of the players okay I think oh I'm not being able to control this again. Oh, that's a good warning. Turn off your mobile devices Definitely. in the playing tournament. F three, nice F three, yes, really, really close. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we expecting? Oh, well, we already have an e four uh, in the game between Fabi and Wesley, and e five right away. E four, e five is just because. I want to make the. It make is, the yeah, video the monster, is updated compared to yeah. what's here in the board here. And Bishop B5. So Rook D no Rook E3 Fabiano. for Fabiano yeah, here. But, uh, Rui Lopez and I suspect Knight F6. Uh, I suspect Knight F6 is oh but, no no. The uh, the commentator's curse. The moment you yes. uh, uh, predict the move, no. No. A6. No, Knight F6. Well, it's, I guess it's rapid play. They kind of so our video is behind here. I'm first, not able to right now to update the video because I'm not able to drag the, the slider oh, for the video. The most important uh, thing at this level of chess is to ambush your opponent with a novelty, coming very, very well prepared. And no open Spanish. Uh, oh, I no, I can't I update the video here. Three. On the board. Yes, we I just have. detached the video. So I noticed that uh, in Norway uh, we saw a couple of games in the open Spanish. Magnus Carlsen drawing one. Yes, yeah. Mama Jarv is a big Open's component right. of this. And uh, let's turn it over to Ali Alejandro. What have you got? Ooh, something very. Ooh, I just saw the end of that, but that looked very interesting. Something a little bit. interesting. Of course, we have the great game between Fabian We could just refresh this like one. Something. Maybe if we refresh the, uh, the video, would be updated. Okay, I hope the video becomes updated here. And if we play, we have an updated video here. Yes, we have an updated video here, but we're not analyzing the rest of game. Uh, but if you simply play here after rookie 2, move queen h5. 
it says black has a huge advantage but why is this exactly We're the not, case? Uh, playing Wesley's game let's just not use the let's just not play their video because uh, we we are after the game of Wesley and they're analyzing other games okay this is the game of Wesley he just moved to rook f4 after so he go uh, Wesley uh, previously goes to let's go back the move of Wesley is rook b3 and Caruana responded with rook e3 and now we have here rook f4 by Wesley so this is how it looks on the side of Fabiano so it seems so crazy it seems a little bit of scary it seems scary uh if i'm fabiano here this is a little bit scary and i think uh, what he just moved is a blunder yeah let's go back to the side of wesley wesley here i think uh this is a blunder here i just i could just take this bishop and after that i go rook g4 oh no sorry i I haven't seen it. Uh, there is an uh, an open uh, there is an attack on Wesley's uh, rook on b3. So I didn't saw I didn't I didn't see it immediately. So it's really a good counter for Caruana. Although the computer now says that it's almost two points for black. Black is two points better. Than white so what would be the counter play by Wesley here uh, there could be some counter play here okay I could just I could just take the truck and then take on c4 so what you think guys if Wesley I would just go rook takes e3 and then rook takes c4 and then I'm pretty much be uh, pretty much winning i would be very very much winning here because after rook oh no he he didn't take it what's happening what just did wesley did okay maybe still good still good but well, carwana was forced to make the check because there is an immediate uh, threat of taking on f5 so king g7 by fabiano here and wesley is threatening to take the f2 pawn uh, using the rook on the f the on f4 and fabiano's time is very much very very much low here i think wesley just got his revenge here although it's not classical chess it's rapid game here but still a good revenge against Caruana <clears throat> just after losing in the last game uh, at Altebax Norway and immediately getting getting back against him in the first game of the Rapids at Grand Chess Tour <clears throat> your next move edition would be very great <clears throat> mm -hmm. so Wesley just took on C4. <coughs> okay. And the computer says Wesley is more than two points in terms of his winning advantage. Okay. What would be the correct uh, continuation here? There's pretty much nothing Caruana could do. If I'm Wesley, I would just go rook takes A5 consolidate my position oh what what he did was better man rook 2 to b4 rook rook b to b4 threatening to remove the queen from the equation but oh nice counter from this guy Caruana is still breathing here. Oh. What the... 
Karwan intends to go e4. Yeah, he intends to go e4 and then rook takes g4. Check. And Karwana's time is just uh, less than two minutes. Wow, what a what a defense by Karwana. He is struggling to to maintain the balance here to min to maintain his life in this game. Poor Fabi, <laughs> some of the comments here. Poor Fabi, Fabi is dead. Actually, uh, Fabi's position is difficult, but Wesley has to find the correct moves here. Any mistake, any uh, blunder here could turn the position aside or uh, make him lose his big advantage. Okay, so that's really what Wesley intends to do just uh, as we have predicted rook uh, no pawn to e4 and then f3 by Carwana and the computer says Wesley is completely winning 6.6.44 6 percentage winning for Wesley here or I really don't know what this means but it says here 6.44 black is winning Wesley could just go Rook takes f3 would that work immediately because there is a counter uh, below Carwana could get uh, Wesley could get mated if uh, the queen would uh, the white queen would be able to take on d6 but maybe there is a tactical solution so that mate would be prevented so rook takes f3 ah wesley made a what you call in tagalog a escape route a takas route <laughs> so he's making an, an escape route here Actually, white cannot take uh, the pawn on h5 because of rook h4. Yeah, because of rook h4 and then threaten uh, the queen after bishop h3, the queen would take on e3. So if uh, g4 takes h5, rook h4, bishop h3, queen takes e3 for Wesley and he is of course completely winning with that move. Okay, Carwana, what are you going to do? Wow, this really is a very good game. Extreme defense by Carwana, but do you think that would suffice? <clears throat> okay, just take on g4. Still completely winning for Wesley. And then bishop takes g4. Wow, what a move by Wesley. Rook to b8. I haven't seen that coming. I was taking, uh, thinking of another way to attack the white position, but this pivot back to v8 by the rook is extremely strong. Very, very strong counterplay by Wesley here. Do you think there is no defense here? Because if the queen, uh, if the queen goes to g3, then rook h8. And then any move by the king, king g2 or king g1, Wesley would just uh, maybe go rook takes or rook f6. But anyway, let's wait for the move of Fabiano. Fabian only has 23 seconds against the more than 3 minutes of Wesley here. Rook h8. <clears throat> Extreme defense here. Rook takes, of course, 
Rook takes g4 and just Fabiano just resigned here so what would happen what do you think if queen takes g6 i uh, queen takes g4 what the? if queen takes g4 then rook h2 check and the only move for Fabiano is king g1 and then queen takes e3 check and mate follows what this is a very great game by wesley congrats i know wesley saw this is one of the greatest game it's really uh amazing how you bamboozled the position of fabiano <laughs> or how amazing how you destroyed uh, fabiano's uh position here uh and you did that using the black pieces so congrats kabayan uh you really deserve to be part of the elite and thank you for giving us a nice nice game so chess fans especially the pinoy chess fans out there thanks for watching this video and see you in the next uh rapid game of Westy that would take at least uh 15 minutes from now so thanks for watching